All right, let's begin, shall we? I do not have any idea if this will be a part one, or part two, a series, or just one single video. I am going to do as I always do. I do not prepare ahead of time to make a video. I am going to move as I am moved by the Holy Spirit. I will be led and guided by the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, uh, throughout this video. Now, this is going to be very controversial. Now, if you are a follower of man and of man's theology, this won't set very well with you. But if you are a follower of the truth, if you are a follower of the living God, Yahweh, you will understand what this video is about. Again, I want to make mention that I wanted to avoid this topic. I wanted no part of coming on here to do this video. I wanted to avoid it with a 10-foot pole. But I prayed and I prayed because I knew I was being moved and led in this direction to bring out his word and his truth regarding the prophet Hosea and what many today, here we are now in January of 2014, uh, have coined the phrase, the Hosea prophecy in relation to the mass animal die-offs all around the world. And I knew when I did this video that I would come under a ferocious attack from the enemy. The fiery darts and the fiery arrows would be flung in my direction. So I prayed, and I prayed, and I asked for confirmation. But Father God, Yahweh, if this is your will, that I present your truth, and I believe it is, I do need confirmation. I want you to go to my YouTube channel and watch the video I uploaded just prior to this one. And it's titled, uh, Hosea Prophecy, and there's a question mark, Mass Animal Deaths, question mark, and Confirmation. And that will save time, and that will explain in greater detail. I prayed for confirmation that this was my Father's will, that I present this truth in the end days. Regarding the mass animal die-offs, and we've seen that begin in 2010, uh, right before midnight, 12 minutes before midnight, uh, ringing in 2011, 5,000 blackbirds fell out of the sky in BB, Arkansas. And then the very next day, uh, fish washing ashore dead, more birds dying uh, in Italy, and we have seen just mass animal die-offs since 2011. And many attribute this to the birth pains. What I want to do, I just want to show you this confirmation. I want to play just a small clip from the video I uploaded just uh, prior to doing this video. And I think it will help you understand how I did need confirmation before putting out this video. Then we're going to go to the truth of what the living word says regarding the mass animal die-offs and what Jesus says in Matthew 24, what we read in the book of Revelation in regards to any type of mass animal die-off. And we're going to go to the book of Hosea. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right. This is the video I was speaking about that I uploaded just prior to doing this video on what many people uh, have coined the phrase, the Hosea prophecy. And I am moved, and I needed confirmation because I knew this can be very controversial. It's not going to set well with many of you. But I have just been moved and moved, and the words given to me, are we going to continue to follow man rather than follow the living God? Are we going to continue on the path of following man, man's word, man's theology, rather than opening up the Bible for ourselves and reading what the prophecies are, what the prophecies mean, what time period were they given for. The book of Matthew, what Jesus spoke regarding the signs of the end times the signs, the birth pains. What are the signs of the birth pains? Then what happens? What will be the signs during tribulation and the great tribulation and the wrath of the living God? I needed confirmation, knowing how controversial this would be. 
do we look at the Hosea prophecy for the time period today? Do we glorify man by doing this, or are we going to give God all the glory that he deserves? And let me play a portion of this because this will show you uh, my confirmation. Moved by the Holy Spirit. My, my Father in heaven, no, I did not hear his audible voice. I did not hear the voice of Yahweh uh, to present the truth and to set the record straight. I'm going to do a video on the prophet Hosea. The signs of the end times and the apocalypse, the mass animal, Dios. And I have been trying again to avoid this. When I come out and do a video like this, I'm not coming out here uh, of my own will. I ask my Father in heaven, Yahweh, to use me, to use me for his good and to bring his word. And that's what I want to do. I want to bring the truth. I don't want to glorify myself, this channel, no glory to man whatsoever, but to give God all the glory. I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit, and then we're going to get into the book of Hosea and uh, Matthew 24 and the signs and the birth pains. Let me skip ahead a little bit. And this is, I, I don't didn't want to do this video, but this is where I'm being led. And I prayed, and I prayed to God, I prayed to Yahweh, please give me confirmation. Um, even when I say your name, I come under attack. Yahweh, the name above all names. Okay. And I do, and many others do as well. We're told it's not in the King James Version Bible. You're part of the Hebrew cult roots movement, and the name is not even a sacred name. It's satanic. That's why I want to present this just for a moment. Oh, you're part of that Hebrew roots movement. And you're a messianic Jew. No, I'm not. I'm not part of any movement. I'm part of Yahweh's movement. I need confirmation that I'm due, but this is you telling me to expose this. Hosea. Hosea prophecy today. And I opened the book of Hosea. And I got my confirmation because many people are saying, no, King James Version Bible. Uh, the name Yahweh is not even in the King James Version Bible. And that's all I use. And this is the Bible I use. And it's the, I hope you can see it. It's probably backwards because of this webcam, but the authorized King James Version Bible. And I will be doing a video to follow on the prophet Hosea and what we see happening now, the birth pains, what Yeshua, what Jesus spoke of. And it may not set well with some. But hold on, I'll be right back. I want to show you my confirmation from the King James Bible. And that is right from the King James Authorized Version Bible, the book of Hosea. And that was my confirmation when I cried out and I prayed to Yahweh. I need confirmation that this is you, that this is you moving me to bring your word, your truth in regards to what man has called for the time we're living in right now, the Hosea prophecy. And that was my confirmation. Stay tuned. This is going to, I guess I'm going as the Holy Spirit leads me. This is part one. Stay tuned for part two. As we uncover the truth regarding the end times, the mass animal die-offs, um, and what many have coined the phrase, the Hosea prophecy. Is it a prophecy for the time we're living in now? Is it to glorify God or to glorify man? Stay tuned. Part two coming up.